guys, this is David Owano with more Mountain Lawn Service. Thank you for watching our clip and stay tuned for Dell's Lawn Care. Hey guys, Jeremy um, with Dell's Lawn Care and I'm making my first paycheck with uh, the Honda mowing our own lawn. So, ready? Gotta have ear protection. Always. ISO tools.
Alright everyone, so Jeremy's very first time using the Honda HRX. And I was I won't say that I was so nice because I haven't mowed the grass back here in two weeks, so it was a little high as you've seen in the video. So let's have a slight interview with Jeremy and his feelings with the Honda versus the Toro personal pace. Alright, Jeremy. So I wanted to I want you to tell me what do you like about the Honda? Well, I like on the Honda that it doesn't go too fast, it doesn't go too slow, you can set your own pace so that with the bar you can set it facing. So if you want to go faster or slower. Um, and it doesn't have a bar that sticks out. It's just easier like when you go like that. Like, you only have to go like and push the bars, so it's pretty much pretty easy. Jeremy, you also mentioned that it's not hitting your stomach when you're turning it. Uh, yeah, um, so there's no bar that comes up uh, and hits you in the stomach for my level. Because I'm shorter, but now like... For, okay, so for our viewers, can you tell us the Honda versus the Toro personal pace? Which one is easier for you to start? For me to start the Honda is a lot easier than the Toro personal pace. Um, and it's a lot easier because when I go to start it for this mower, I just got to go like that. And then I can go over. But with the Toro personal pace, you have to hold down the bar and then start it. So you like how we have the blade stop so you can drive around the yard and not have to push it manually? How does that feature work for you? Um, it works pretty well because when I, I don't, I'm not really strong with the manual. Um, but with the, basically it sets your, you can set your own pace for how fast you want to go. But what about going, I, I guess I'm misleading. When you're driving across, when you brought that to the backyard, you didn't have the blades on. How is that? To bring it back while it's propelled but not cut the grass on your way back um well it doesn't vibrate much at all when you're not having the blades on um but when the blades are on it vibrates your hands um and it's just a lot more comfortable because then you can just walk along with it okay so would you do you like this more over the tour uh, would you rather like to use another tour um, I like it over the Toro. So you don't, you do or you don't want to use a Toro ever again? If I had to choose, no. Alright everyone, so this is just a slight interview with Jeremy and his first time using the Honda HRX 217. It's a 10 year old's opinion. You can take that, use it. Um, you know, if you have a young kid that you want to teach with, his testimony might be, uh, worth this video but uh, he does help on a few customers so we did buy the HRX I thought it was uh, a better fit than buying another personal pace so uh, that's our input for today and for those that asked where the kids are they have been very busy with school and with all the rain I've been behind so we'll get through some more videos with the kids I do appreciate all of our viewers like subscribe and comment Thank you for watching.